Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So coming to the previous video, we have created the rules as well as events. And in this video, we'll be using a replay events. So let's go ahead and start. So if you remember in the previous video, we have sent the test events. So we have captured that uh, in the in this uh, logs. So let's go ahead and try to replay the same events. And again, we'll check the logs whether uh, it has been replayed or not. So let me go to the events again, go back, event bus, and here you can see the replace, click that. And uh, like I have tested a few replays. So let me start a new one. And here, let me give the name. So which will be replay test, add that. If you want to add the description, you can. And uh, coming to the source, let me drop down and you can see the archive test select that one and right now we have default and you can uh, specify the specific rule and select that uh, uh, rule that you have created and coming to replay time frame you can select the date today and similarly the end date and coming to here yeah it has 18 and uh, here let me add it as 20. So that's everything and let me start replay. I believe I got an error, so already exists. So let me add it as two. And let me check everything. There you go. Start replay. So it's starting now. And uh, once it is done, let's go back to the schedule and just to see whether we have got, uh, uh, you know, uh, the lock. So let me refresh that still running so once it is done make sure you clean up your resources so the first one will be the lambda function the even bridge archives that you have created as well as the rules that you have created so let me refresh that it's still processing so let me wait for that obviously we'll be getting like a few logs here so i'll just uh open uh, other tab and uh, since we required uh, the cleaning up of the resources the first one will be the lambda function let me go to the compute section and it will be the lambda so this is the function that uh, we have created uh, in the starting uh, of the session like uh, the step one so if we want to discuss about step one the step one was uh, we have created the lambda function the two was we have created an archive the step three was we have created the rule. The four was we have sent uh, the test events, which was in the previous video. So that is what we have captured in the logs. And coming to the fifth one, it's replaying the events, which we are doing right now. And finally, we'll be uh, you know uh, cleaning up the resources. So let me uh, go back here. Let me refresh that. Uh, it's completed. And let me go back. So, so right now we have... Uh, so let me... It's under two minutes. So, so right now, let me refresh this. So let's uh, wait for, uh, uh, you know, just a minute or so, so that uh, we can see other uh, So let me refresh this again. There you go. So we have uh, successfully, it has been replayed. Uh, and uh, the final thing is we have to delete this. So I just, I'm just going to delete uh, uh, the function first. Let me add that, delete. And once we have deleted, uh, okay. okay, we have deleted it. The next one will be we have to delete the event bridge archives. So let me go back here, select the archives, select this, and uh, delete. So here I'll just using the name. So let me copy that and let me paste here. So it's done, delete. So we have deleted these two and coming to the next one, which is uh, the rules. So select the rules. So since we have deleted the archives, so the default one has been vanished and select this one, delete. And uh, finally, delete it. 
So successfully, we have uh, deleted, uh, cleaned up the resources. So that's everything coming to this video. I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks, everyone.